what's going on everybody welcome back dev near to here so just continuing month number six uh just to before even we start with the video i just want to say that um, i'm done with the foundations course nine months I've done month six seven and eight and i'll be dropping these videos just following each other and also give my feedback on what i think about like the foundations what it has taught me and uh that further do let me just get into it. So as you can see on the screen, these are the list of projects that you're going to do. Then there's an evaluation there at the end. So you're going to start with some JavaScript. There are two projects, just, you know, intro to JavaScript, the ALX way and, uh, you know, objects, scopes and closure. You're going to do that. You're just going to start with that off from the bat. Then the first week, you're going to learn a bit of uh, Python object relational mapping. Uh, it's actually something that um, it's a very crucial concept because this concept of object relational mapping will help you look at the Airbnb clone MySQL. I know in the previous month, we've looked at the console. You have done the console. You have done the web static. So the Airbnb clone is a project that is very huge and it's going to be split. Uh, you're just going to do it like module, one module separately like that then all of them just join at the end so instead of like giving you like a whole project like the tele all code the whole airbnb thing it's going to take a lot of time so they split it and they just mix it up with other small projects in there so when you look at uh the airbnb you'll actually be you'll actually look at you'll actually create the whole thing start from the console create the front end you're going to do the MySQL with, and you're going to be given the dummy data. You're going to even to like deploy it. You're going to do a lot of things. So it's actually a very fun thing. And this is actually one of those projects that I looked forward to. The Airbnb, the Airbnb clone, the MySQL one, uh, someone gave me some problems because I was not able to like uh, figure out like how to do things on time. So not even on time, like some concepts as i went deeper were not that clear but i just had to like take some time to be able to understand what i was doing so yeah it's actually quite challenging but of course at this point you're up to the challenge because you have seen a lot you've done a lot so it's easier then after you're able to like conquer the airbnb clone mysql you put a pause on it then you go get introduced to um some devops which are going to form like the backbone of what you're going to be doing in Spring 3. So you're just gonna start with configuration management. You're gonna learn how to set up like um servers. The you're gonna use you're gonna learn about Puppet. So it's a, it's a it's a language that you're gonna use to be able to like uh run them scripts that they can you know set up the dependencies that you need. So it's actually pretty important that you grasp these concepts at that at the point they're being dispensed because if you miss one part i mean that just like messes you up you're gonna learn about ssh you're gonna be given a server you set up you configure that server you use uh, nginx to do that so and also web servers you're gonna do all the, a lot of that they also they're all of these projects are interrelated when you do like a projects on servers you're gonna be given a server you given instructions to configure it alx are quite clear so when you follow like their the way they have stipulated things it can, becomes a lot easier to be able to like do things so yeah web stack debugging this is another devops project that like, like quite frankly sometimes it gave me some headache to do because uh, it was a uh, it was a bit challenging at the time because i didn't know how to use Docker at the time but it just took uh some reading took some bit of like reading in there just reading in between the lines making sure that i knew uh what to do so yeah, it came out pretty quick. Python networking, zero and one. Those are projects that um, are fairly they're fairly easy at this point because, given all the knowledge that you've learned on um, on, on like uh, programming and you know system on even working on systems, it becomes a lot easier because when even you're given a hard concept, you're able to like go about it. Then load balancer. It's a it's another story. <laughs> This is a project that man, it took me like it took me like days to get it done. And one thing I know about servers is you cannot afford to make a mistake. If you make a mistake, it just reverts you back to where you started. So you have to be very, very careful on dealing with servers and you have to be very, very careful in dealing with like um setting them up. So you don't want to like uh make a mistake then 
you have to like ask for a new server you have to destroy everything then you start from configuration management setting up everything ssh setting up the web server so it's actually one of the most uh interesting bits that i learned especially in setting up servers because you have you are given one server in in the web server you set it up then in the load balancer you're given like a load balancer like a, an ip address then you're given another ip address so you're supposed to replicate like the web server web server one to look like to use duplicate web server one in web server two then the load balancer kind of manage, manage, manages the traffic. Let's say, for example, you have a web app, you have deployed it, then um, web, server, web server one is not working, so it's supposed to direct you to server two so that you can continue the operation. So setting all that up, you're going to learn them in depth, and um, that just uh, encapsulates month six, and man, it, it's just awesome. Month seven and month eight are just, um, they're just you know, pretty interesting and... I just look forward to like uh, making videos just talking about them. But in a nutshell, that's what month six is. Uh, at this point, you've been able to like learn so much to the point where they don't. They expect you to like know how to figure out your own problems. They expect you to like uh, have a firm grasp of how to go about things. And as you complete, as you head to the conclusion of like the foundations, they are kind of like um, they leave you with like uh they just let you do your thing they just let you like <laughs> get your own resources get your own things so you don't have to like fully depend on them because they've been on training wheels for like the first five six months so they expect you to be at least uh independent and know where to look for information so they don't like assist that much so you need to find a way to be able to like collaborate especially working in groups is actually pretty important so uh, that's just an encapsulation of number month six. So I'll drop on number seven and month eight. So uh, stay tuned. So um, if you guys like the video, make sure to leave your feedback down in the comments and what you think. And um, I'm out. Peace. <laughs>